Okay, hopefully uh, lowering the resolution will fix the lag. If it does not, I am going to be such a madman. That, uh, that's actually not what I meant. Oh, there you are, Inspector Legrand, whatever your name is. I'm just going to go and jog down here because I'm more interested in looking at plants than your ugly face. Well, hello there! What was this? What? Whoa! Sherlock, you got some fancy vision. Stone pathway. Gonna highlight anything else? What you do? Dude, their feet, what? Not even feet, their footprints. Why? Why must you examine them with your little magnifying glass? Hey there, footy. These footprints appear to be quite large. Yep. They belong to Bigfoot case closed. Okay, Bigfoot murdered. It seems a man. The garden was well maintained. Get out of my way. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Mr. Holmes? Yes. Okay, fine. <laughs> He's just trying to pick on me. Okay. I'll run all the way up here to Inspector Legrand. Lag alarms, says Ghost. Let's see. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Okay, what should I ask you? Anything unusual? When was the body found? Is that gardener? The garden is very large and well maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Well, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Oh, so your husband's a drunk, huh? I was only half paying attention to that because I had something in my eye. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Ah, oh, I see. Hmm. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh, dear. Whoa. That's not very pleasant. You have nice eyeballs. Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh, no. I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. We lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. Okay. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Whoa, whoa. Oh, can I take her eyeballs? Let me grab one. Uh, hmm, hmm. Which one, which one, which one? That one looks nice. You got a chin. You got... What am I doing? I missed it. it. Was getting good Oreos. How dare you, Al? Oh wait. Oh. 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 What? Birdhouse. Now I must watch an ad about cyber attacks. The things I endure for you, Jack. Sorry, ghosty. Oh well. Wow. Hello there, gloves. Gardening gloves. You said your husband takes care of the garden. Would he stoop so low as to wear this monstrosity? Book. Wait, that's not important. Oh, it is. Okay. Chris, thing. What's it? What am I looking at? Drawer. Wait. Catholic rosary. Apparently, there's some. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought I saw something else. Uh, necklace. Everything will become easier. No, it won't. You're gonna suffer. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. 
But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? Oh, wow, wow. Ah! Uh, 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 pilgrimage under... The footprint! No, pilgrimage! You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Nah, he's just a top-notch stalker. Who could do such a thing? My poor husband. Oh, I could do such a thing. I mean, what? I didn't say that. Hello. Mr. Holmes. <laughs> you keep people doing this to me. Why do people keep doing this to me? God. It seems that the God will maintain the magic of marriage. Oh gosh, ghost. Okay, Lestrade. I thought your name was Legrand, but apparently I was wrong. Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch anything. These lags are killing me. Mr. Holmes? Don't you people know any other words? Ugh. Let's walk inside. The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. Holmes sounds like bones, does he? Does he? Oh, Grima. Ugh, I call you Grima. I'm still going to call you Grima. I don't care how you pronounce your name. Oh, someone tried to force their way in. Maybe a bear just wanted to stick its fingernail there. That's not... Yeah. I am moving... I know... Can I... Oh, yeah, you know, let me use my phantom eyes. Okay? Okay? There. There. Now, what do I see in the rippling... Oh, now it's evident. These scratches are fresh. How do you know? You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Our mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. Oh yeah, soul mode activated. You're right, ghost. Open the door. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. <laughs> well, there are harpoons on the wall. There's a... <laughs> What a terrible way to die. So many dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Sitting alone in your small little room. Got ran through the chest by a harpoon. So many dumb ways to die. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Okay, let's see. You got a tin Someone cup. Someone drank from this glass recently. Ew. Well then. Ooh! Tobacco pouch. Let's see. Bum -ba -dum -bum -bum -ba -dum -bum. The initials PC have been crudely burned. A sailor's work. No. Somebody's personal computer just likes tobacco. Eh. How do I? How do Look the other. Anything. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's so hard to move this around. <laughs> Open. Look, see? Special. It's got tobacco. What? Mm. This aroma is familiar. What? But to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. What the flip? What the holy moly? <laughs> what are up with your eyeballs, man? 
This isn't soul mode. This is psycho mode. I, I gotta... Holmes, you're crazy. What am... Oh, oh, it's a, it's a pipe. Okay, just gotta... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so apparently I can only move this up and down. Uh, eh, eh, it only goes up and down. Anything else to slide around? Oh, 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 now it's moving. Now it's moving. Okay, wait. You go. Th oh, wait. No. What do I do with you? You only move left and right. Why are you a floating le I think it's a boat. Yeah. Okay, okay. This You're just a smoking pipe. What do you do with the smoking pipe? It only moves vertically. This only moves horizontally. Does it do anything else? Come on. Come on. Okay, Sherlock. Your brain is broken. Come on. Come on. Move somewhere. Do something else. Ooh. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? I can skip it. I'll just I'm just gonna If you exit this part, your progress will not be saved. <sighs> what progress? I'm moving left and right. I don't think there's much to save here. I could do the same thing in a matter of seconds. Come on! Smoking pipe. Move elsewhere. You are a flippin' little monster. Oh, you can rotate this! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Oh, my gosh! Here I was, thinking it was some 2D image. Sherlock, I don't know what's wrong with your mind. Well, there's something very, very messed up about it. Okay, just got to line this best I can. Move this up to wherever the heck you go. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh -huh. No dirt, Sherlock. Oh, come on! I I should have known you were going to do that, Ellie. Okay. Okay, align this. Good enough. Where do you... Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? I rotate you around. Does it do anything else? You're a weird ship. Lollipop. Pub, it's a sweet trip to the get your butt in place. You should have. Yes, I should have known that was coming. I'm sorry, Sensei. I'm still a pun. Uh, I don't know. Beginner? Eh, not even a talking beginner. I don't know how to use words. Where do you go? What do you do? What is your purpose? Can I rotate you? Huh? <laughs> huh? There's something I'm missing that I gotta do with you? Move somewhere! Which way do you even move? You're not moving at all. Novice, novice! That's what I wanted to say. You're so smart, Ellie. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, that, that works. Slide that back. Oh, I almost got you. Almost got you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. No, oh, why are you moving away? Get closer. Get closer. Yes! This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. Yeah, I don't use where it's good. There we go. Uh huh. Rum, a sailor's drink. Yeah, yes. It seemed that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. That or he likes bottles. You assumer. Let's see, is there any shelf? Oh, look! The tooth of a sperm whale. Probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. Congratulations. Okay. Ooh, a <laughs> shelf. Suspiciously empty space. Oh, come. Oh, wait. Actually, it's got an outline. 
Okay, suspiciously empty space. Oh, how interesting! Outline in the dust. This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book. A box or a small chest, perhaps. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, looked at the shelf. Uh, anything else? Oh, 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 another shelf. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Okay, awesome. Harpoons for hunting whales. He was a whaler! That was already said. Oh, look, let me go through his junk. <gasps> Boots for hunting whales. Bottles for hunting whales. A compass for hunting whales. That's what he's going to say. Peter Carey's boots. They look to be a size 8. Let's just... Y you like them boots? Okay, keep them. Why not? The guy's dead. He won't care. Old navigation instruments. Nothing interesting. Oh, are you sure they aren't for whales? It's a net. There's a... The Sea Unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. Awesome. So, uh, Peter Carey, um... What you doing there? You look like you're dropping some of your life essence all over the floor. You might want to pick that up. Ooh. Well, hello. Ooh. This wooden handle is plain and solid. Well, hello. Oh, bleep. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. Apparently not. Okay, let's see. Notebook. J H N are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. No, ah, eh, probably. I learned to not doubt Sherlock, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, blood? Why is there blood on this book, Pa? Why? Paper cuts, son. Paper cuts. Okay, is that it? Okay, you're a piece of junk. Actually, I want to keep examining this thing. Okay, inscription. Yeah, examine it thoroughly. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, here. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. Okay. That it? Oh, oh, I can open it. Knew I shouldn't leave this. Okay. These abbreviations mean something, but what? I don't know. Maybe a guy likes writing down things at random. Starting to think this Peter guy was my was my soulmate. Whale killer, water killer. We both kill whales in the, in different ways. Oh gosh. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. Well, uh, Ellie, if this was your soulmate, um. I, I think I think you gotta find his soul again. Harpoon. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a whaling harpoon. Well, that doesn't seem pleasant. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. He was fully dressed. Okay. Sorry he wasn't half naked when he was assaulted. <laughs> he knew his murderer was coming so he got nothing damper like what the heck man I have my ways of finding his soul okay how the heck would he be able to tell that I'm not sure what you're referring to this man is in his 50s yet he still looks quite strong oh he was a whaler that's it okay apparently I can press X okay got boots got dialogue got this let me go over to this thing What's this do? Peter Carey. Judith Carey. <gasps> there are a bunch of other people here. Oh, there are a bunch of other people here. Ooh! Guess that Pokemon. Ah, uh, well, or, or guess that. Guess that, uh. Guess that. Guess that silhouette. Can't think of the word. Okay, leave that there. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, map. Oh, this is actually important. <gasps> Look at that whale flying majestically above the land. Hammerfest. 
Yeah. What a whoop. What about it? Dundee. It's a whaling map. <laughs> why did I not notice there were markers across that? That's the reason why he's saying it. Okay. Okay, there's the half hour mark, but we will be going for another half hour. Okay. Say something else. Mr. Holmes? You're an idiot. Okay. I'll repeat. I don't think this game fits Jack's cranial limitations. <laughs> have you finished inspecting the crime scene? Yes, I have. Okay. Blueprints. I believe my... Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I was right. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna... Eh! These boots don't match the footprints. Yeah, so he obviously wasn't walking here this night. Question. Why, why would you... If you're going to murder someone, why would you be like, Okay. Oh, I want to remain silent. Let me just at this point... Step! My feet into the ground, and then I'll take the stone path. La -da -da -da. Okay, that's probably what Have happened. You finished inspecting the crime scene? Oh wait, I can press Y over there. <laughs> Whoa! Find a pair of related clues. They will uh, form a deduction. Red color sign. I was reading that. Oh, red color sim symbolize. Red color signifies an unachievable clue combination. Okay. So apparently I'm in his brain because there are the neurons. Just no gardener. Break in it. Okay. Okay, no gardener. No. No. Okay, fine. Doesn't have to do with the gardener. Break in attempts. Pin to the. No. Notebook. Draw a clear picture of the crime by forming your deduction from common. Show me that clue again. Okay, let's see. Poke my neuron. Task. Make an ambush. An ambush must be made tonight to see if to see if the break-in attempt will be repeated. Okay, that's actually not a bad idea. Ha. Huh. Someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Okay. So, do I uh, do I organize the ambush now? That seems a do I do it? Let's how do Yeah, navigate! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do I do now? I I saw something about doing it. What do I how do I I want it I want to do the ambush. Okay, let Oh, I have to talk to him about it. Probably gonna be the guy who gets his little Police posse oh, together. Holmes. What do you think? Now, I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oh, you've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why, return tonight, when they will be better prepared. Aha! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. Nah, I'm just gonna be the guy who naps through the entire thing. Okay, let's see. When when do we... Mr. Holmes? Say something else, gosh darn you! We need to find a good place for an ambush. Perhaps behind Carey's cabin, near the window. Oh. Behind carries. Let's hide in this thing. It looks roomy. My little shrimpy body can fit through it. Over here? This looks like the perfect hiding place. Not if somebody decides to climb in through the bushes. There's a bird up there! Above the bird! Okay. Can find a deduction space that I kind of indicate to you found sufficient clues to accuse one of your suspects. Don't just catch sight, catch his body. Okay, let's see, let's see what we gonna do now. Currently, we gonna wait for people. We gonna wait for people and grab them. Me smart. Da, 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 da. That's a pretty shiny roof. Shh. 
Did you hear that? There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. Police! Hold it right there! Oh, it's just a child! <laughs> oh, God, it takes a long way around. I love it how that, like, police guard was standing Mr. back Holmes, there. Come and see what we've caught in our net. And he just kind of disappeared. Mr. Holmes? Shoot, you, you're here guarding a place, ready to go and shoot somebody, and you still say, Mr. Holmes? Say! Mr. Holmes, where are you? Are you coming? No, I'm not. I'm taking a stroll. I'm here. What do you want from me? <laughs> you goes to... <laughs> you, you... All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you I'm innocent. Innocent? And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here, waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Do you deny that you came here yesterday? No, but... but I... yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I'm not... it's a terrible mistake! Enough! You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But... In light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. Feeding on his dead body. What the heck, Ghost? What are you talking about? Ghost. You big Craig. Oh, what penny dreadful are you reading? Oh, cool, I can open the case book while I'm here. I guess I don't have need to. Oh, Crime and Punishment. I saw that title. Dude, do you actually read it? He's just like, okay, one word. Oh. One word. Are you doing, like, word-ups or something? Yeesh, like, read your book. What? Where am I? I'm at the Echelop. No-a-tats. Echolop, no attacks. I'm at the Echolop. Mr. Holmes? You, my friend, need a dictionary. You, my friends. Okay, like, what's up, Scrooge and Sailor Pete? Let me take a little sit by you. 100. Currency reward. I don't know what currency that is. Sup, sailor man. Oh, 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 uh, a policeman who says more than two words. Good morning, Mr. Holmes. Can I help you? Good morning, Constable. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodman's Lee last night. Ah, oh, the young man. He's waiting in the interrogation room. You can go straight through. His belongings are held in the evidence room. Thank you. Sweetness. That was a pound. Oh, one. <laughs> one hundred pounds. Oh. Whoopsie me. Sup. I'm just gonna sup everyone. Oh, this is a nice place you got here. You gonna answer that? It, it's there. It is again. Are you gonna answer that? For all you know, your wife might be. There it is again. Your wife is probably calling you. She probably made biscuits and wants to know what kind of syrup you want on top. You're a rude fella. You're a lazy fella. I can't even look at you. Mr. Holmes? Ugh. Don't give me the ability to speak to such people. What's in here? Empty wardrobe. Oh, Nelligan's stuff. These are the suspect's belongings. Oh, so he confirmed that he owns the, the book. book. that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. Okay. These abbreviations mean something. But what? Well, we already went over that. 
These abbrevi- Don't say it again! These abbrevi- Duh! Duh! What abbreviations? Blood smear abbreviations? Shut up! Oh, a ring! One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to have a weird engraving on it. And partner, 1883. <sighs> There's more to read. To my friend. Yeah, let me read this backwards. From R. Dawson. Dawson. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. Awesome. Now. What's this? With the initials J H N. Okay, so it's obvious that he owns the book as well. A handkerchief. Oh, that's it. Okay. A pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. Okay, so uh, now what? Okay. Oh, I see. I have a little checklist. <laughs> I have a little checklist. See what's here? Scotland Yard. Here! Okay. Open says me! Do a little jog. It's in here. <laughs> I'm scared of stairs, man! Locked. Locked. <gasps> Magic doors that close by themselves. Oh god, I conquer you stairs! Ugh. Why am I walking this way? Why, why, why am I? Oh, you got one of them bone saws. This is Dox's heaven, is it not? She probably just wants to slap somebody down this table and saw away their legs. Dox is a psycho. Anything important here? Documents. Oh, <gasps> look at me looking so fabulous. Ah, Jack Bone. Ah, oh, look at that pose. My, my, what a set of ligaments you have, son. Oh. That's a, that's a body. That's a nice pose. Okay, I'm sick of looking at bodies. Just bump that door open. Don't you dare. Mr. Holmes? Uh, anyone in here? Apparently, but you're not important. You don't have as much detail as the rest of the people. See, that's a weird fire extinguisher. That's a... Mail, maybe, for... Ha, 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 hello there. Flies. We have much to discuss. I saw you around Peter Carey's body. Shut this door. I don't want it open. I saw you around Peter Carey's body. What were you doing? Wait, why is there a thing to lower this? I guess so you don't have to stand on a table to do... Oh, there are chains on the floor. Probably for the crazier people. Oh, look at the table thingy. <gasps> I don't know what that is. Probably to see how tall people are. Oh, Okay, I'm done with that. And in the shadows behind them. I did not see your quote, ghost. Sup? Might I say you are a very unattractive fellow. Does this notebook belong to you? Yes. But where did you find it? I did not know. I, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. What do these abbreviations mean? Oh, no. I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. Okay, um... Am I the only one who's wondering why this kid is, like, there with a little baby mustache? I don't know, I'm just staring at his fuzz. The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carrie try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. No one said you did. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. Dude, that's not what we're saying. You're not alone, ever. Okay, Ghost, that is creepy. You! No one said you killed anybody. No one said you stole it. We said, where'd you get it? Where'd you buy it, maybe? Where did you get it? Not, 
Who did you steal it from? Okay, does it always belong to me? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Then explain the well-kept garden! Now it's the engraving, duh. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. Yeah. Don't. You got a cap. How do I do this again? Oh, yeah. Just head this way. Whoa. You got a patch. Apparently, I missed something. Another blurry there. Dum -dum. Oh. Expensive fabric. <laughs> what, what sickness are you doing? Button! Nope, not the button. There's a chain back there. Who? Oh, you got short sleeves. Apparently, this is an older thing. You got a different button than this button! My mom tells a story that makes me think I have all I uh, have always had a level of sass. You probably did, Ellie. Callus. Ugh. What about them scrapes and scars? Oh yeah, scars. There are the scars. Apparently I missed something. Looked at the expensive fabric. Looked at You got a neck Oh what? Thin neck <laughs> The neck is evidence Why on earth? Okay, uh, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you, you got an eyeball, you got, a, you got a mustache, shows you don't shave. What am I looking for? Just kind of, oh, what, oh, those are just the sleeves. Apparently there's something down here. Why would I ex examine this lower part if there were nothing? Whoa, whoa. I heard the swishy sounds. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. All the buttons are... Oh, the buttons are... Thing. He had a brawl with... People get married young, younger every year. He had a brawl with ghosty gobs. What are you talking about, ghosts? Oh, the scars. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? It's because of the delay. Okay, so... Ring's owner. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. Don't be such a little Frodo. <sighs> Father's jacket. Your father probably was a small man then. Well-kept garden profile. What do you get over the well-kept garden? It is not important. Profile of the victim. Tobacco pouch. Uh. The engraving. Oh. Select the correct answer. Whoa. I'm sorry. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. It belonged to a hobbit named Frodo. <sighs> father's jacket. No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but, but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Most probably, your father. With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. Yeah, I'm well, cool like that. I will see you soon, young man. Please, let me go. I'm innocent. Oh, shut up, or I'm going to drop this lamp on your head. You know, it's hard to belittle and mock you when there's such a comment delay. You're right. You're right, ghosty gabs. I'm just going to jog down this yard. That's a fancy little shiny thingy. Oh, wait, I got neurons. I got more neurons. Okay. The gardener. Is not important. Pin to the wall. Break in attempts. Swift action. Break in attempts. Nope. No again. Nope. No I knew the card. Yep. There we go. What? What did I? Task. Experiment required. We need to find out whether an unskilled and untrained man could use a harpoon well enough to kill by fully piercing a body. 
Why? I need to stage a reconstruction. I'm sure that Watson will be happy to oblige. Uh Okay. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Oh, you say a little more than the others. Mr. Holmes. Add the at your service. So he said something about Watson. So I'm headed home. I gotta buy a sandwich or something. I am hungry. Apparently when I was a little kid and I was in public school, this other girl was bragging about something expensive her mom got her. I responded with, you like my shirt? My mom got it for me at the department store. I'm not sure how to respond to that. Okay, Sherlock, you're a weird smoker. You make such a weird face when you stick your pipe to your bottom lip. I think the story is better said when they're, like... Like, I think it's better if you say it, like, aloud to somebody. Because for me, when I'm just reading it off the screen, I'm <gasps> Bobby! Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. <gasps> Watson! I don't get it, Liz. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> Sorry, Ellie Sensei, I don't get it. A spot of wailing, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No. No. But we do know <laughs> what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible. But if that is the case, then it alters many things. I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man? Morphologically, I mean. Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before. On the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throats? No. Thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. Wonderful. Aren't I a saint Watson, fella? Let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. Okay. I'm a little insane. Oh, I got a punching bag. <gasps> I got a telescope. Who do I stalk? Oh, I do stalk some monstrosity. Oh, I did not see that. I did not see that. Sherlock, what is wrong with you? He's <laughs> traumatizing, man. Go to White Chapel. I need to take a harpoon with me. Oh, I let Watson grab it. What with me? Yes, he is. You're going to see something now. Uh, open detection. <sighs> Pin to the wall. No, okay, we already know what the detection is. I'm glad, Melly, if you missed it, you are so blessed. Give me the body. You can take 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 the pig. You can take the monstrosity that was now phased into my eyeballs. <sighs> it's etched into my brain. So I may gorge. Oh, goodness. Uh, no, no, girls. I don't think anything you can say is more disturbing than what I just saw. That should do it. Now I am ready for the experiment. Yep, just stick the harpoon in your pants. That's not a difficult task at all. Let's get out of here. What did I miss? Ellie? You don't want to know what you missed. You don't. You don't want to see it. Oh, oh, Sherlock is a freak above... Above. Above. That's what I meant to say. A freak above freaks. I said a bung. I, I merged above with a mung. Just... Sit there with a harpoon by your side. Okay, hey Sherlock! Hey, sh hey, hey sh Wait, that's not Sherlock. Hey, what's up? What's up, buddy? Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What do you intend to do? To indulge myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little experiment? Stand aside, Watson. This might be dangerous. I am not well practiced in this exercise. Yet. Oh, gosh. 
I actually missed what happened. You, you should aim for the mark in order to perform the most reliable test. Great, great, great. I'm glad you wrote that in blood. Okay. L Sensei. Ghost. You missed it. You are lucky. Don't you I I'm not going back to that. If you missed it, you are so what? Okay, okay, you just gotta aim. Oh, I missed. Holmes, you should try to aim better and throw as hard as you can. Excuse me, it was a tiny marker. Okay. The harpoon has struck the body, but with insufficient ah. strength to pierce it straight through. Oh, you want it? Oh, come on. Did it! Whoa! Holy moly. It was a disturbing creature. This is the best possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or diabolical luck. If it was luck, then it was a chance in a thousand that night. Well, yes. Let us leave now. All right. But before we go, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily mangled. Very well, but please hurry. Of course. <laughs> what was that creature? Okay, let me put it in perspective. You see this pig's head? A thousand of these wrapped around the belt of a naked troll would be less disturbing than what I looked at. Okay, you want to see it? You want to see it so badly? I'm going to Baker Street. A woman. Yes! Kawaii Wolfie! It was a woman! Hey Wolfie, glad you can make it, first of all. Second of all, they want to see it, they can see it. It was a woman. It was a freaky, disturbing, gargantuan woman. <laughs> I don't know if that thing qualifies as a woman. I, I would say maybe it's some weird spawn of a thousand demons. Uh, okay, you want to see it? Stop watching, having some tea. Please tell me it's gone. Please tell me it's gone. Please tell me it's gone. Oh, the thing is still there. It's got. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, okay. It's less shocking the second time around. Good gracious, you caught someone. At least now you have a suspect. Yep, I want that bread. I'm hungry. <sighs> okay. You saw it. You saw it. It was really, really... A map of London and the surrounding area. It could be useful. Yes, that is nightmare fuel. It was really unbelievably disturbing. Wait, I got Scotland Yard. Where am I supposed to go? Says the guy who steals a woman's clothing at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what, Ghost? You you stole you stole Jack's clothing. You know that. You left the skeleton without his clothes. You sick little person. I missed it again. I am not going back to that thing. Okay. Twice my eyes have been. Uh, what's the word? Ghost missed. Twice my eyes have been subjected. That's the word. To that. I am not going back there. You can't make me. Yes, yes, I took ghost's clothing. Yes, I did. It was fun. It was a fun prank. You're the one who actually submitted to... No, yeah, I, I needed my... Yeah, you're taking this out of context. It wasn't that bad. It was bad. What am I doing here? I don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, apparently I went to the wrong place. Gotta go back to the other place. Ghost, you know what, ghost? Keep your flipping eyes open. It was that bad, Ellie. Don't pretend. Do you have a new book every single time you enter this place? Oh, you need a pad. It was. Don't, don't, no, it was. It was disturbing. It was mind-numbing. It was scarring. It was, my child will never be able to grow up normally since it saw that. Ish. Yes, it was. I will not let the audience, other than you, 
decide what it was. Toby! Brave, Toby. The best Lick my brain clean! It, it is a demon. It is a demon! There it is! It doesn't move, it just kind of <laughs> Ghost, if you did not see that, I am not going back. <laughs> Your child saw that? How? I, 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 he, she didn't. They're not even existent yet. Not even conceived. Well, I, I went to Baker Street. Wood Mintley. He's reading a book. He's reading a book. Don't you interrupt him when he's reading a book. What the heck? It is that bad, Ellie. What the heck? Yes, you s mm, cringe. Like, the cringeometer is off the scale. It's at one million raises. Yes, seriously, Jack. Yes, what makes you think it was... It was bad as heck. Okay. That's what scared... Yes, that's what scared me. I feel weird. Weird, 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 weird. Ghost of Greece. I don't care what goes to Greece. Kawhi's on my side with this one. Okay, thank you everybody for watching. This has been episode one of Honey, I'm Holmes. Uh, I hope you will join me in the next episode, which I will begin right after this episode. So bye, everybody. It's been fun. It's been fun.